Good morning, Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Tuesday with the Morning Sprint. Destiny Richards live with the City of Spokane to talk about their new Feet on the Street program. And Nikki Torres is tracking the hottest and driest day of the summer so far. We begin with developments in what high school sports might look like this fall. California schools have announced all high school sports will be delayed until at least December or January. The decision affects 800,000 high school athletes, especially multi-sport athletes whose seasons will now overlap under the new schedule. This could be a sign of things to come in Washington as schools around the country look for guidance on how to proceed with athletics. The executive board of the WIAA will meet today to discuss its options. Last week, Idaho announced plans to push forward with fall sports with certain safety guidelines in place. We are learning more about the victim of a tragic ski cra uh, jet ski crash this weekend. 16-year-old Chantel Hendricks was out on with her family on Long Lake. She was riding on a jet ski with her younger sister. The key in Hendrick's jet ski fell out, causing the watercraft to stop in the water. Her dad and stepmom were trailing behind them and were not able to stop fast enough before hitting Hendrick's and her sister. Hendrick died instantly. Her little sister is in the hospital with serious injuries. People in Spokane and all around the nation were encouraged to walk off their jobs to support black lives. The national movement, Strike for Black Lives, brought activists to Riverfront Park with a list of demands. Sarah Dixit joined others in Spokane yesterday, walking off of her job at Planned Parenthood. It's not something that's just seen in large cities or big things like that, that this is a local issue. It is an issue that everyone is yelling about and fighting about because it matters. Demonstrators are demanding justice and economic power for black communities, an end to corporate racism, and a $15 an hour minimum wage. Protesters march across the Monroe Street Bridge holding signs and chanting, I can't breathe. The demonstration lasted about an hour and remained peaceful. A guard at the Airway Heights Correctional Center may experience what life is like on the other side of the bars. According to court documents, investigators believe Michael Matter smuggled Suboxone, heroin, and meth into the Airway Heights Correction Center in exchange for money, drugs, and sex. Madden was arrested at the prison yesterday, and according to the complaint, during a search of his lunchbox, agents found Ziploc baggies holding what was later identified as meth. Heat is the big weather story for today. We are going to see 95 degrees here in Spokane. Other parts of the region might be a little bit warmer. Places like Moses Lake, Omac, and Lewiston, those places are going to see triple digits. But for us, 90 degrees for this afternoon. For that afternoon lunch hour, we are expecting more warm temperatures on the way. The city of Spokane and the county are working together to make sure you recycle the right way. You might see these tags listing things that you shouldn't recycle on your recycle bin if you're not recycling what you should, but if you are, then it's all done. And these recycle cart taggers are going to be going out and checking to make sure everyone's recycling what they should up until September. If you have concerns about what should be recycled, just call 311. Coming up next on Good Morning America, new information on Kanye West's bizarre Twitter rant overnight. The rapper sounding off in some startling, now deleted tweets, some aimed at his wife, Kim Kardashian West, and her mom, Kris Jenner. This coming after a concerning rant at his first presidential campaign event. As the heat wave bears down over most of the country, experts have new concerns over air conditioning. Hear why aerobiologists are concerned having the AC on nonstop could spread coronavirus. Health officials are making a plea for change as COVID-19 cases rise. Those driving with infection or driving up the infection, the younger population, 822 people between 20 and 29 years old have tested positive for the virus in Spokane County, nearly 30% of our cases. Some other concerning trends, the lack of face masks and social distancing. Dr. Bob Lutz with Spokane Regional Health said young people should enjoy summer, but safely. Masks are something where you need to be wearing them in public settings when you are out, when you can, even when you can socially distance. In and of itself, it's not enough. Masks need to be worn. The Health District hopes to team up with Panhandle Health in North Idaho to help slow the spread. Remember, there are now new restrictions on social gatherings in effect in Washington. Gatherings are now limited to groups of 10 or fewer people for counties in Phase 3. And for counties in Phase 2, gatherings remain limited to 5 or fewer people. There's also a statewide ban on live entertainment events, both indoors and outdoors. There's a new effort to restore an old sign. The Neon Mingwa Restaurant sign was around for decades until it was knocked down in a windstorm back in April. The restaurant's owner didn't expect the $30,000 replacement cost, and the insurance company is only willing to pay half. So now community members are stepping in. So far, GoFundMe page has raised nearly 
10,000 of that $15,000 goal. Right back with the final check of the weather with Nikki next.